what's going on <laughs> happy thursday um i don't have the capacity no um but yeah I, I wanted to share some of my thoughts from this morning the lord was dealing with me on hope right y'all it's a little chillier than i thought I'm walking on lunch Burr. <laughs> but um yeah he was dealing with me on hope right and how hope produces expectation so if you hopeful you're expecting something if you're hopeless <laughs> you are not expecting much oh wow it's a fire truck um what was on fire uh and so he was dealing with me on expectation and the different things that the heart goes through with expectation, right? And faith and believing God and um, seeing him through a lens of love, right? So it's like when you believe the Lord for something, um, something big, right? You're quoting scriptures, you're praying about it, you know, or maybe you even in the wait and you got hopeful days. You're like, Lord, I know, you know, or maybe you trusted the Lord. You felt like he told you you'd leave your job and now they're suffering, <laughs> right? Um, and with that expectation, it feels like the Lord didn't come through, you know? Um, and you know, it's the same. <laughs> he might not come when you want him, but he'll come on time. <laughs> Sometime that time be like, Jesus. When is your time, you know? But within that, I feel like the heart can go through different emotions and even be hardened, right? Um, hardened, you know, you trusted the Lord with your marriage or, you know, just something that pulls on the heart strings and bitterness can settle, you know, um, disappointment, um, you know, lack of expectations like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna even pray about that no more because it's not happening right so it's like hope is easily being chipped away and so this ain't no resolution video <laughs> um i'm just sharing with y'all my my journey i'm out of breath that that heel took me out you know what let me walk back down um i'm just sharing with y'all my journey because i've experienced moments of feeling hopeless and even with um you know the pa the passing of twitch you know I, I didn't really follow him but I saw him and he seemed like an amazing spirit and um suicide you know I think it's it's a lot more common it's in a lot more common thought than we think and when someone says they're having suicidal thoughts it's like um it's almost a stigma that goes with with that versus um trying to understand because we all literally <laughs> living in this host trying to um figure out the mission and purpose of this experience right and so getting back to the intention of this video is um is to share when I've been in those moments of figuring out why it's hard for me to hope in God, why my faith is being tried. Sometimes I don't have the words. Other times I can write out words. And um, even with bitterness and lack of understanding, it can be hard to even pray and be vulnerable with God. Cause it's like, I've already talked about this stuff. It's no change and then you know, then his love is questionable because love is an action word, right? Even in, and not to obviously um, put aside Jesus dying and salvation and all, all the things that I'm eternally grateful for, you know, but it's like the day-to-day -day things can wear on you. Um, the lack of things. So I'm speaking to those who, who may feel this way. Um, what I'm, what I'm conscious to do in those moments is, um, 
first of all, be honest with myself how I feel. So I might write out some crazy stuff in my journal. Because the Lord already know. Whoa, this ain't long. Try to wrap it up. But the Lord already know how you feel. Um, and then I, I ask the Lord to help me with whatever, whatever that is. Whether it's, um, Lord, help me to be more childlike so that I can have expectations um, for you and your promises. Lord, help me not to be bitter. You know, um, and I think that's why the Bible talks about the heart being deceitful. Because um, I believe there is balance. You should understand your emotions. <clears throat> um, but not let them derail you, right? And so... Again, it's not a resolution video. I'm, I think I want to create space for, you know, people who have those questions. You know, the, the Christians who are on fire all the time. Who actually maybe deconstruct and figure out what your true belief system is. Because there's power in what you truly believe. And the heart is in between you know, the logic and sometimes the truth. And so, um, ease y'all. If y'all made it to the end, this was for you. But I wanted to share that. And I feel like he wanted me to share that too because he wants us to believe in him and trust in him and understand his love, know how to receive his love. You know, that's the process within itself. Know who we are in him. It's, it's so important to the journey and, and knowing our authority during this time on earth. So, God bless y'all. Uh, wow, seven minutes, that's wild. Hope y'all have an amazing day. Peace.